Remember guys, it's a multiple choice, right? So I'm not going to be teaching this like I would in chapter two. I'm gonna teach this as, let's get the answer right as quickly as possible. So one thing I'm looking at this is I know the expansion, right? We should hopefully be able to recognize Pascal's triangle, right? And we know that we're trying to expand this to the fourth power, so therefore that's going to be the, the fifth row. Five, um, eight. I'm sorry? That's correct, because you're adding them in, right? There you go. So this is our, gonna be our row of our coefficients. Right, because that's just x to the zero. That's x. Um, that'd be x inverse. That is x plus. That'd be x squared. That's cubed, and then this would be to the fourth power of our expansion. Right. So just remember, it's that extra um, uh, fourth row. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I'll mess it all up, didn't I? Okay. Thank you. Eh, well, we can show my mistakes. That's cool. And I was actually wondering, that's actually a good point, because I was looking for the pattern. I'm like, whatever the power is, that should be that second term, right? That was one way to recognize which row it was. Fourth power, that should be the second term there. So if you did it correctly, and I was like, oh, it's fifth, something went wrong. So yes, thank you for catching that. Um, so remember, but this is just your coefficient. This is just a multiplier, right? So um, what we're basically doing is just looking for the first term, because don't you guys see in all the answers, all, the first term is all different, right? So let's just find the first term. Like, who cares about the rest of the term? Let's just find the first term. So then we look at, well, remember, when we're doing expansion, the first term is always raised to the highest power, the power of your expansion. And, and the second term is raised to the zero power, right? Because the first power starts at the top at that power and then descends. And the second power starts at zero and ascends, right? So is that perfect kind of symmetry. So really what we have is x over 2 raised to the fourth. Um, times y over 3 um, to the 0. And then we're multiplying by its constant, which is 1. right? Because if we're looking for the first term, we're just going to multiply it by 1. So this, that obviously goes to 1. There's a 1 there, so we don't really care about that. So we really just have x to the fourth over 2 to the fourth. So really the question is, what is 2 to the fourth? So 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. 2 to the fourth then would be? 16. So do we have an answer choice of 1 16th times x to the fourth? Yes. So, and you guys can see that answer is C. So I would not waste my time doing any other expansion. I noticed that what that first term is different. That's the easiest term to find. I would just go with that. Right?